For the past year, FaZe Clan has been on a continuous downward sloping decline with all the controversy involving the organization and its original members which caused the stock price graph to look like this. The graph kind of reminds me of PewDiePie's views before and after he said What a fucking nigg But now FaZe Clan is back in the spotlight and for a quick rundown of how this was caused On May 18th, FaZe tweeted we want more women in FaZe Clan Now most of the replies consisted of people telling them to stop forming impressions Which is true, I mean if you want more women why are you tweeting about it like just recruit someone Fuck it, recruit me, I'm basically a girl, I mean I do love shoving things up my ass <laughs> But two days after this tweet was posted, FaZe Rain replied by saying spoiler alert it's Grace and the only reasoning I heard was cause she was on one episode of Stranger Things. This reply ended up getting more likes than the original tweet even though it was posted two days after which shows how many people are on FaZe Rain's side. And with no surprise, five days later FaZe Clan posted the official video introducing and welcoming Grace into FaZe by titling it Introducing FaZe Blue File. Huh? Now this one tweet alone caused a fucking nuclear war. Like you had original members fighting with the organization on why she was added, new members defending Grace, and then you had the average no life Twitter users posting the most Twitter things possible. <laughs> But when looking at the replies under this tweet alone, most people talked about how FaZe Rain was right and others stated how some creators that have been pumping content for years deserve it more than someone who's a pretty new streamer. And this is completely true, I mean imagine being a woman in the gaming industry working hard to get this type of position only to realize they gave it to someone who's barely ever played video games like, gun pointed to your head name 3 video games Grace has played. Bitch. We're all fucked. Because FaZe Rain exposed that they were going to sign Grace 3 days before the actual announcement, that means that when FaZe tweeted we want more women in FaZe, they already knew that they were going to sign her and only tweeted that for their impressions. On the same day, FaZe tweeted another post regarding the situation showing all the positive messages Grace received from people such as FaZe Scope, Pokimane, Valkyrie, and the Nobody. Some of the original members replied under this tweet with FaZe Bank saying you forgot our responses and FaZe Rain saying oh those the ones you picked huh? They also replied to a tweet made by Faye Santana and you can pause the video here if you want to read it cause my man typed a 24 page essay and I ain't reading all that. It does however look like he gave a shout out to the LGBTQ community for pride month so props to them. Now a lot of the community got mad at Grace directly for joining Faye's but she didn't really do anything wrong. I mean all she did was accept the invitation she received to join. It's not like she was the one controlling the business's decisions. And at least she does stream often now which somewhat fits her in the clan but if you do want to get mad at someone for joining FaZe it should honestly be someone like Snoop Dogg or Offset. Like they probably got paid millions of dollars to appear in half a video of FaZe and then them bitches never associated themselves with the group again. But for the next few days Grace and Rain shared their opinions on the situation by responding to each other on Twitter and also talking about it in their live streams with Grace first responding to FaZe Rain's tweet on how she only joined FaZe because she was on one episode of Stranger Things. About me signing with FaZe is because FaZe Rain said that the only reason I was signed with FaZe is because I was on Stranger Things. Um, I'm sorry sir, were you in the meeting with us? Were you there? No, I've never fucking met you. Um, and that is not why FaZe signed me. Like, that is definitely how I got the meeting. Yes, I will definitely give that credit. That is how I met, got the meeting. So, get fucking wrecked. And then FaZe Rain talked about this clip on his YouTube channel with this being his main reaction. Yes, I know, I can't say the word reaction properly, but I can say every other word in the English dictionary, so L plus ratio. I'm sorry, sir. Were you in the meeting with us? That's my fucking boy, bitch! Like, that is literally my boy! None of us were! None of us were! Were you there? No, I've never fucking met you. I don't even know who the fuck you are! You think I watch Stranger Things? I only know that one kid, Finny or whatever, and Billy Bobby Brown! I don't know you! Uh, huh? And that is not why they signed me. Yes, it is. Like, that is definitely how I got the meeting. Yes, I will definitely give that credit. That is. How and then what sold them? And then what sold them? So, get fucking wrecked.
to everyone saying that. They're to, Phoenix to makes rain. Holy! Grace, I'm sorry. All I want to say is your golden Valorant makes Stranger Things your entire personality, even though you're only on one episode. You found out about Twitch through Tumblr. Not only have you not hit a trick shot, but you don't even know what the fuck that is. When you were still playing with Barbies, I made my first million out of this industry. And on top of it, you're excruciatingly mid who I would never let touch me on my drunkest night. Grace then played the last clip of Faze Rain with her chat and later explained how he feels sorry and would like to talk to her. One of the employees of Faze reached out to me last night and said that Rain feels bad and would like to talk to me. Although Grace said she doesn't want to talk to Rain, it ended up happening as they first settled their beef on Discord and then talked about the differences in person in the video titled Phase Rain Meets Up With Grace. In the first portion of the video, Grace was addressing how she received a lot of hate to the point where people were sending death threats and somehow found her phone number. She also told Rain that the hate she was receiving was because of him and Rain responded by saying he didn't say anything bad about her in his video. Grace then talked about how she was debating joining phase as it's a guy's organization and how they made sexist comments in the past which ultimately made phase rain lose 10 million dollars and that may not seem that much right now but it's actually the same as a hundred million robux like that's truly heartbreaking. The next main part of the video revolved around Grace bringing up the Phase Rain tweet from 2013 and how he shouldn't say things for shock value and Rain defended his side by saying they both lived in different environments as he was playing Modern Warfare 2 as a kid which meant he was in the most toxic environment to ever exist. And then we get into the final two minutes where things went downhill quick. Me to do, do you want me to be demonized as a horrible human for calling you mid that I went to that my drug is like what do you want? You want me to forever just like who gives a fuck? Because yeah, it's like, you want to super victimize yourself for that? Okay, then I guess I'm hurt. How dare you? How dare you bring up the worst time in my life? I was great thing you should feel confident in yourourself. Am I Fuck not all that. Him, and you don't know me. So then how is, this, how is this hurting your feelings? If I call you mid, you should be like, fuck him. Who cares what I say? And if you bring up my drug past, are you getting emotional? Yeah. Well, I'm just speaking the truth. I don't want you to get emotional. I don't like you. Bruh. Okay, that's fine. I'm just being very logical. I understand how you feel, but you brought things up against me. How I do you expect me to react? I think you're a terrible person. Really? Yeah. Oh, she's pulling the acting shit out now. Because I said that pulling I Pulling the acting shit out now? How am I a terrible person for what? Pulling the acting how shit out How am I a terrible person? Explain. I don't owe you an explanation, actually. And I owe you an explanation. This entire situation caused Grace to private her Twitter account so only confirmed followers can view her profile and she also took out FaZe from her bio as they used to say FaZe Blue File. So obviously this was a pretty serious video so let's take a look at what the top comments on the video have to say. A previous FaZe member Orba commented, respect for Apex for just sitting in the back and letting them talk it out. Okay, so nothing about the video. Another top comment states, Dog, I can't take any of this seriously with Apex peeking his head out of the ca- Oh my fuck. Alright, so a top comment on this video reads, So respectful of Apex- I like sucking cow's udders. You are gay. So obviously this was a pretty serious topic, so let's take a look at what the top comments have to say on Twitter. After searching for 5 full Minecraft days, I found some comments under a tweet on Twitter with someone saying, I didn't know much about FaZe Rain before, but I know exactly who he is now. And this tweet got 874 likes, and someone responded to this tweet by saying, Yeah, I never heard of him, now I'm a fan, which got 6,100 likes. So it looks like the first person that posted the tweet doesn't really like Phase Rain since the only video they seen of him is a negative one and the person that replied got almost 17 the times of likes as the first person which shows that most of the people are on the side of Phase Rain. But let me know what you think about the situation down in the comments below and feel free to like and subscribe with that notification bell to never miss future videos.